here. She is talking about the top three trending things on our website here at erienewsnow.com. Yeah, so we are going to start with Taylor Swift, UK fans, angry at American fans, then, come on, friend, Life's Word, Eagle Hotel, can't hear me, and Tomlin signs three-year deal with the Steelers. So we're talking about Eagle Hotel and Taylor Swift. So we're going to start with Taylor Swift. So she is in Scotland performing the other day, and guess my mic is on. Oh, we're getting all right. Hello? We're having some technical Can you issues hear? here. So I'm going to keep talking. I want to stand a little bit close to Eva. Hi, just in case. Um, so she was performing in Scotland, and fans were kind of upset because Americans were coming and flying into the area, and they said she hasn't been in the UK for eight years, and you're being disrespectful, and you're loud, and she did over 50 shows in the states. Why are you coming here? It's cheaper. But it's cheaper. It's cheaper, and some people didn't get to buy tickets in the states, and that was kind of Ticket how that worked out. Ticket fees in the U.S. are so ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but Moving on, sorry, Eva. Nope, that's okay. John Lass went to the Eagle Hotel, um, so it's going to be celebrating its 20 or 200th rather birthday in 2026. But he got a tour from the Fort LaBeouf Historical Society, which was formed about 50 years ago to actually save the hotel here. And what's interesting about it is that at the time, a lot of those hotels were made out of wood, but this was made of stone that was locally uh, quarried, and so that kind of had that draw there. And we even had a president stay there, Zachary Taylor, in 1849. So you can go and you can eat at the restaurant. They do tours on occasion, but not as often as they kind of did back in the day, obviously. But pretty, pretty cool spot out Very there. Cool. I've yet to go there. So Out in Waterford. On and the then list. last but not least, some sports news. The NFL's longest tenured coach is not leaving Pittsburgh anyone, anytime too soon. There was some speculation that he might be taking a break after this season. But he just signed a three-year contract, so he'll be around to at least 2027. Um, they had the Pittsburgh came off the season last year losing to the Buffalo Bills at that uh, first playoff game there. Still, Mike Tomlin, that would put him at yes. 20 years in Pittsburgh if he fulfills this contract. Wow. For an NFL coach. Good for him. Picture of longevity. When we 